Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today I'll be showing you guys a tutorial how to make my favorite 3D text in Cinema 40. Um, obviously you need Cinema 40 and here's an example of what the text would look like in a finished product. Uh, I usually use the text for like my Minecraft thumbnails, so um, here's my SG thumbnails. I mean, it looks pretty sick though, right? <laughs> Get it? Um, not really. Okay, so first off, what you want to do is you want to go to your more graph, click on Mo text, and go to object, go to um, align, click on middle, um, choose a text, uh, I'm gonna name my, you can choose Sky Wars, Bed Wars, whatever you want, I'm gonna name my name because I'm so creative, you know, I'm so creative, um, yeah, so go to font, choose a really good font, um, don't, don't choose a really crappy font, please, so I'm gonna choose long haul, because that's my favorite font, and you guys can use that too, um, font name will be down in the description below, in case you guys didn't catch that last part, and um, you want to change the depth to um, 68 because you want it to be extra thick. But um, yeah, okay, so I mean, it looks really nice though. So go to caps, um, go to start, choose um, filler cap, go to the end, choose filler cap, and yeah, that's pretty much it for the first part. So let's name it the first text. Control C on your keyboard to copy, and Control V on your keyboard to paste. And then name me the second text because we, we want to be organized about this. I don't want people falling behind here. So um, yeah, go to caps of your second text. Change the start to fill it. Change the end to fill it. Change the radius to two of both of them. Go to object. Depth to like, let's use, let's do like 79. And um, yeah, I mean, there's probably no difference, but let's put, let's make a mat or something. Uh, so okay, let's choose like a nice a black real quick so that we can see a, a difference. Put it on the first text and so um, yeah, go to the second text and just drag it to be center. Just drag it to be um center and you know. Okay, not, not like that. Yeah. And yeah, you have this cool white outline thing. Looks pretty cool though. Looks pretty cool. That's how I make my text. Um, we are not done yet. Um, control C, control copy on your second text, and control, control V on your keyboard to paste, and then um, what you want to do is you want to go to this, the array object thing, and then click hold, 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 uh, hold left click on it, and then get Adam array. Drag your second, just kidding, name it dirt text. Drag it on the Adam array, and then um, bam, you have this cool thing, my, my Bob thing, and it looks weird. Okay, so go to Adam array. Um, change the speed radius to 2 um, Bam, that is That's pretty much it guys I mean, yeah, I mean, so create Make it a white mat Cause, yeah Um, white mat And just drag it onto the item, right? And then, uh, there we go guys That's how you get your Um, oh yeah, I forgot Um, drag your white mat onto your second text too And yeah, so You have this cool 3D text that I usually do on my thumbnails Um, one before you guys go Um I mean, this does look pretty plain, and we could spice it up a bit by <clears throat> making the text a Ben, of course. So, click on this, just click Ben, obviously. And then just group them all together. So, like, left click and then shift, hold shift, and then left click the bottom of the text. And then just right click and group objects. And then just name it text. Preset. And then for the band, what you want to do is you want to, um, let's see, I want to see how the band works, so let's see. Okay, so it's bending that way, so what we want to do is we want to, okay, so go to the rotation tool of your band, rotate it 90 degree, um, right. You can do this by holding down shift, obviously, I'm um, holding down shift would make it go by 10. So, um, yeah, and then... Uh, let's see how it bend. Uh, okay, cool. So then you wanna do, you wanna drag it down 90 degree now. So like that, and then make the size like 84, a oh 85, um, and then change it to like 30 on this part. And then yeah, I mean we can make this longer actually. We can make this just a tiny bit longer. So 629 for the middle, 160 for the thing, and then 8 to 5. Well, I don't know, however you guys want. Just, yeah, okay. Then go to strength, and then choose 25. 
and then we could just hide it by clicking this circular thing. We could just hide it, and there we go, guys. You guys have your um pretty cool text. Um, you know, pretty cool. You guys can change the color however you want. So to change the color, just like make a new mat. And to choose whatever color, you, whatever color you want, I'm gonna choose red because I love red. And yeah, so to change the color of the text, just press C on your first text on your first text. So press C on your keyboard, and then you go, you keep open it, and then you get these individual letters. So first off, you can change it by doing this. So dragging your red mat to whatever letter you want, dragging your black mat. And then just oops. And then keep dragging your red until you get the M, drag the black until the E, and there you go, you have this cool multicolor text. We are gonna um, change it to a, a gray ish color. And yeah, that's pretty much how you how you make um this text and yeah hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial make sure to leave a like let's go for 50 likes on my next tutorial i'll be showing you guys what to do in photoshop and give you guys some render settings for your minecraft render or we could do like something else if you want i know comment down below what kind of tutorial you guys want next and thanks for watching guys hope you guys enjoy subscribe for more and um yeah adios bye